Well, I drove a good two to three minutes away from my house. I found some wilderness here that is quite wildernessy, uh, a lot more bushy than my backyard anyway, and maybe uh, it will provide us the opportunity to learn something new. But here I am now, I've got only my uh, trusty camera bag and my car keys, you know, just in case something does go wrong, I do have some limited supplies over my car. Other than that, I suppose it's just beating through the bush and, uh, and finding some water, which is, you know, the first thing you want to do, so let's have at it. Of course, the, uh, the bush is mighty thick through here. It's uh, at least compared to lawn, and uh, I'm, I'm able to get through it okay. I've managed to find some, some deer trails, so I'm kind of sticking with those as much as I can. Uh, make sure I've got some good footing here, but uh, I think I might hear water. We'll check it out. Almost, almost ran right into that guy. He is big. I'm gonna see him. See him popping up there. There's actually spiders all over the place out here. Now, I don't think you can tell, but that spider right there is freaking huge. Another spider. A pretty big spider. Spider. Now, I couldn't even tell you how many spider was I ran into so far. Now, as you can see, this water may be a little bit calm, but you want to keep in mind that uh, underneath is where the current can really grab you. I'm going to be very careful around here, a little bit more careful than I was just then, because uh, that was a close one. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a giant freaking spider web right over there. It's just massive. I'm going to get up closer to it and take a look, uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to get that close. Wow, you are really close to me. I would say this deer right now is about uh, 14, 15 feet away. Nah, maybe even closer. Hey buddy, did you see the size of that spider? Well, luckily I was able to uh, discern myself a deer there despite its natural camouflage. Uh, luckily so, that was quite a unique encounter. I wish I would have had an apple or something to feed it. As, as I go along here, it's becoming increasingly more apparent that uh, I'm running across trails that are uh, less, uh, animal created and more uh, having to do with people uh, I think somewhat somewhat recently possibly still beautiful nonetheless uh, I have stumbled across some rose hits these might not look all that great to you and I but to deer they're uh, ambrosia well I made my way back off the beaten path I picked some rose hips and here I sit hoping to uh, come across a wandering deer so I can kind of toss some at them or something um, to us they look like maybe little hard shelled tiny tomatoes but uh, you open them up I don't know if you can see this or not on the inside is some pulpy seedy goodness that the uh, the deer seem to like so wouldn't that be something if I was able to entice one within a, a few more feet of me than uh, previously we'll see Instead of uh, sitting out in the open like that, that I would go ahead and utilize the uh, couple of branches stemming off this log that I was sitting on. So they form a V-shape there. See if I can't form some kind of a bedding in between by running some vines across. Bedding down there, hiding out a little bit. Just grab a couple of these uh, nearby branches right here. Look to be pretty dang bendy.